couple of days ago I had an experience and this experience has really it's been on my mind a lot it's really affected me in the couple days since it's happened so I feel it's worth sharing with you I was at the courthouse I was walking into the courthouse to file a death certificate as I was walking into the courthouse, there was an elderly couple who was walking in as well. And they were the quintessential old couple. They were driving a light blue minivan. They had their coats and winter boots on. The little old lady had her hair permed and she walked with a cane. And her husband was a cute, tiny little old man. So they were walking into the courthouse at the same time as I was and I got up ahead of them and I held the door open for them. And we struck up a conversation, just the typical chit chat about the weather. And as they walked past me into the courthouse, I noticed they were looking at the directory of government services and agencies on the wall. And they seemed like they were kind of lost, like they didn't know where to go. So I asked them if I could help them find where they needed to go. And the little old lady turned to me and in a hushed tone she said yeah we're looking for social services you know like for food stamps and immediately all the wind went out of me and my heart just went <gasps> I felt terrible for them in that moment and I got them pointed in the right direction told them where they needed to go and in order for them to find the Department of Human Services which is the agency that they were looking for uh, which is the agency that handles Michigan bridge cards which uh, is what a lot of people would call food stamps I suppose home heating credits funding for funerals funeral assistance uh, the state agency that handles welfare if you will that's what they were looking for the Department of Human Services and in order for them to find that building they actually had to exit the building and drive around to the other side and so I got my death certificate that I was filing and as I was leaving the courthouse they were leaving the courthouse at the same time and I actually had paperwork to drop off to the Department of Human Services but I chose not to because I didn't want to walk into the DHS office at the same time they walked in and I didn't want to have to listen to them tell a caseworker that they needed help buying groceries. I just don't think I could have listened to that. And anyway, it got me thinking about how we often seem to have this picture in our mind of people who receive state assistance. And we think they are usually system workers, people who are per perfectly capable of working who choose not to, uh, crack moms, deadbeat dads, people who just don't want to work. And so they work the system and they live off the government. And I think we often fail to realize that a lot of the people who receive state assistance are people like those little old people who I ran into. I mean, they could have been anybody's grandma and grandpa. And it just broke my heart to think of these old people who probably worked hard their whole lives and just simply they can't live off their social security and whatever retirement or pensions they may have and they need help. And it just made me wonder, can we afford to get older? Can we afford to live into our 80s as these people look to be? And are there people who work the system? Absolutely there are. But there are also people who just need help getting by and having day-to-day -day things that we take for granted, like food on the table, like that elderly couple I ran into. And you know what? In today's society, I don't think anybody should go to bed hungry. I don't think anybody should be cold in their home. I don't think anybody should not have a roof over their head. I think in a country where there is plenty, I don't think people should be going without those things. So it broke my heart to see this elderly couple come into the courthouse to ask for state assistance to help them just get food. I go to the grocery store every day and I don't think anything of it, 
but there are people out there who that is a luxury for them. And I don't know what the answer is to this problem. I don't know how to solve the situation that this couple found themselves in. But I do know that they weren't system workers. I know they weren't what typically comes to mind when you think of someone who's seeking state assistance. They walked in the courthouse and they didn't even know where to go to talk to somebody about state assistance. They're in their 80s and they had never asked for help before. They had worked hard their whole lives and now they're at the point where they have to ask for help just to get by, just to live. So if you ever find yourself generalizing people who receive state assistance, I hope you'll think about the elderly couple who I ran into. I hope you'll think about the mother who has three children whose husband just died and she can't afford to get by. I hope you'll think about the college student who's the first person in her family to go to college who's trying to make a better life for herself and trying to break the cycle. I hope you'll think about those people.